Hello and greetings from a bitterly cold Inverclyde today. Uh, it's my pleasure to be bringing you this week's Alba update. A lot has happened in the last week, both in terms of the party, internally and of course what matters across Scotland. The cost of living crisis, what we've been warning for for several months, is only now really getting the attention it merits. But sadly, as we look at the Scottish Government's budget yesterday, it's a case of too little, but not too late. Westminster cuts have made the Scottish Government's position very difficult, but they've just simply not done enough to stop households across Scotland having to choose between heating and eating as the cost of living crisis begins to pinch, which it already does for many hundreds of thousands of households. The £150 that the Scottish Government has announced goes nowhere near scratching the surface of what households need. Alaba have been calling for a £500 payment to every single home in Scotland in receipt of council tax reduction. That's over a half a million houses would benefit from that and they need that money now. And that's exactly what we will continue to campaign to do. But as the Scottish Government has failed to live up to the challenge, it now is up to local councils to step in. Local councils have hundreds of millions of pounds of reserves sitting in the bank. Granted, a lot of that's for earmarked projects. But what we need to now decide is, should we perhaps just put them off for a while and instead put the money into the pockets of Scotland's families that need it the most? So that's the challenge now to councils, to step up to the plate, find that extra money and top that payment up to £500. The case for Alaba in Scottish politics has never been more important. You know, an island of ideas which we are providing has never been more required in a sea bereft of independent thought. And that's sadly where we are in Scotland. So we'll continue to stand up for working families across Scotland. We'll continue to demand our five-point child and family poverty plan to make sure we lift people out of poverty. We'll continue to stand up for the rights of women and we'll continue to be the only party campaigning for Scotland's independence as an immediate priority. And of course you'll have noticed behind me we have got a castle, that's New Ark Castle, but just behind that is Ferguson's shipyard. Now Ferguson's has been in the news again this week, apparently now hundreds of cables were installed too short. Now trust me, I'm an electrician and I know hundreds of people that have built ships on this river over decades. There's no chance that you install hundreds of cables by accident to the wrong length unless the design specification has changed, which is clearly the case. And that's why Alba continue to demand a judge-led inquiry so that we can get to the bottom of the failings that have failed this yard, failed this community and failed the future of shipbuilding on this river. And make sure you check your emails because there's a lot of important updates on conference. Tickets are selling fast for our conference at Hamden Park, so make sure you get your tickets. And of course, there's some more information there about training events to help you submit motions and resolutions to conference so you've got a better chance of getting them on that agenda. And we're all looking forward to seeing you at Hamden Park.